Hey friends, Andrew here, hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite Shopify apps to completely customize and transform your store in only about 10 to 15 minutes from scratch. So without wasting time, let's jump straight onto my laptop here and I'll show you step-by-step -step how to build a beautifully custom Shopify store with this no-code page builder app. Incredibly important considering that your store represents your brand and your vision. And by the way, I'll be giving away this exact store I've built in this video to a subscriber. More details at the end of this video. So to build out a custom Shopify store today, the very first thing you want to do is go onto the Shopify app store. Actual first step is to get Shopify if you haven't yet already. And if you haven't yet already, I'll drop a link to an extended free trial down below if you want to follow along with this video. Now, once you have your Shopify store, go onto the app store and then this is where we're going to get a crucial tool. And this app is going to allow us to build and design a Shopify store without all the custom coding and it's called Gem Pages right here. So Gem Pages, they're known as this no code page builder on Shopify. And it's really useful in building a high converting store without code. It's essentially a drag and drop builder that myself and the team have used to design custom Shopify sales pages. And the plan of attack today is to create a custom one product store simply by using the gem pages drag and drop tools right here. I've spent some time before this video creating the brand and all the assets like product renders, brand name and whatnot. I'm calling it to charge because we all need to charge our devices. <laughs> That's terrible, I know. I have all the assets to go in my folder right here, as you can see. And so what we're gonna do now is build out our page with gem pages using all the files that I've created here. So head onto the dashboard and then click create new. From here is click more types. And you can see that you're able to create a bunch of different pages based on what you want to go for. So a landing page, a home page, a product page, etc. And so let's just click, for example, home page. So there's a whole bunch of home page templates here. There's also a whole bunch of landing pages. The theory here is I'm going to build a one product store. So I'm going to use a landing page only. And I found the one that I want to use and it's Bluetooth headphones. You can click preview to preview the template first or you can just click start editing. So I'm gonna click start editing. I'm gonna give the, the page name a name and then click header and footer. I want this off only because we're creating a one product store and we don't want a header and footer at the bottom. Really quickly though, you can use a completely blank canvas, but if you want to get up and running really fast, like in 15 minutes, then it's good to use a foundation such as a template. On the left-hand panel, you have all your tools and drag and drop widgets. You can see that literally anything can be customized. You can literally drag and drop and select an image, new images. You can go through the widgets here and literally customize every single component of the page unlike the typical Shopify builder. Now, I'm going to continue building what I've built off this video. So after spending about 15 to 20 minutes on this page, here is exactly what I've come up with so far. There are still a few things I want to add to this page to clean it all up. So let's do it together while I walk you through the design process and the thinking behind it. The beauty of Gem Pages is you're able to drag and drop absolutely anything in. So let's say I want to add a logo. So what I'm gonna do is drag and drop the image tile then click images and click replace image. Then I'll find the transparent logo that I have. And then we're going to slightly resize it because it's probably going to be too big. So we're gonna resize this, I'll go with 20. And so now we have a logo up there. So we're just gonna leave it as it is. The copy that I have, up here the fastest portable charger you know just assuming it probably is and then we have this really cool animated cta button here something that you typically don't see or get the option to add in shopify but with gem pages we're able to do that and we also have a countdown timer these are all widgets that we can drag and drop into this page here also have this really cool sort of uh animated counter that comes up 
And then of course we have the product itself. I'm also going to change the button color here. So going down to button color under background color, what we're gonna do is change it to this font color here. You wanna take the hex code, this little hashtag code here, I'm gonna click copy, scroll back down to the background color, drop the hex code into here and it should update automatically. And there we go. Uh, it's looking much nicer already. Here is the product itself. And of course we have that same CTA button here. And so we can easily remove some of these images. We can remove some of these logos as well. If you click icon list, you can see the items here. You know, for example, I don't want the authentic product uh, over here. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> So over here, I'm gonna click the rubbish bin icon, delete this. And if I really wanted to, the, we've got this nice purple theme going on here. I'm going to add some purple into the background here. So by doing, clicking the background box here, click design, going down to background, we can again use that hex code, right? And then bring down that transparency just slightly just like so, and that is looking much nicer. I also have a bunch of USPs here, unique selling points as little boxes. We have a carousel with images here, and the text specifications are drop down boxes essentially. All of these elements, including even this comparison box here, is all added just through widgets. There are so many powerful widgets here that we can use, including even crazier things. So let's say, for example, share buttons. We can add element here where we can get people to literally share all of this and share this page on their socials and we also have other cra crazy elements like we've got video pop-ups we have video integrations countdown timers like we said i believe there's a before and after module here so this before and after module is super powerful for those who have a product that de demonstrates a before and after if you did not have gem pages something to, like this to implement would take a lot of time it would take a lot of coding as well you can start to see just how easy it is to change all of this up so yeah this is what i've come up with with. And this is so much more custom than what's available on the Shopify template pages. Unless you want to hire, you know, a developer, a Shopify liquid coder to build out something for you separately. And I've done this in literally 15 to 20 minutes. And it's a whole bunch of fun too. It's also pre-optimized for a whole bunch of different platforms such as mobile and tablet, etc. You want to go through each device and make sure that it's correctly optimized for each device. Here we want to change out the font color. We want to reposition the buttons, etc. So we want to build for desktop and mobile. So we've gone from essentially this, don't get me wrong, it looks great as it is already, but we've very quickly freshened it up and integrated into a single home page, a single page, a one product store. And we also have this really neat looking uh, unique selling point section here where we call out all the features and the benefits and we have text specifications, you know, advanced drop down boxes here. We have comparison boxes here. We have an FAQ accordion here as well. And all those trust badges and unique selling points down here too. Super quick to set up. It is extremely powerful. If you want to give it more time, which you really obviously should, who knows what you can come up with. My advice here is to take your time designing a custom Shopify store and probably most importantly, Enjoy the process. The look and feel and design of your e-commerce store is so important in attracting the right customers. A big thanks again to Gem Pages for sponsoring today's video. When they reached out, it was an absolute no brainer because we've previously used Gem Pages to create custom Shopify landing pages for our e-commerce business. And it's the best no code page builder app I've used on Shopify when it comes to 100% flexible customization and quickly building converting pages beyond the stock standard Shopify tools. Spending the time to build out a beautiful store that reflects your brand and vision is so, so important in creating a long lasting successful online business. So I'd recommend playing around with gem pages and Shopify. So you end up crafting the look of your brand before you even press publish and begin selling. You'll thank yourself later, I think. The easiest way to do this is to take advantage of the Gem Pages free trial to test out the app and see if it actually suits you before you get deep into it. I'll leave a link below to the free trial. Also, I want to ask you a curious question. If you have a chance, or if you had the chance to sell whatever you like, yoga products, tech accessories, like 2Charge, 
or a custom product and make a living from it, what would you want to ideally sell? Drop that comment down below and let me know and we'll be picking a subscriber to give away this store build to in a month's time. And I'll also be consulting with that subscriber. I'll jump on a call with you and make sure that you're headed for success. Winners announced in our usual newsletter as usual. And guys, speaking of which, please, please be careful with all the impersonators and scammers on YouTube and the internet in general. We've seen a lot of impersonators recently on our channel asking you guys to, you know, contact them on Telegram or WhatsApp where they'll be asking for money. We being myself and the team will never ask you to transfer us money and we're not on telegram and whatsapp in the first place i know you guys are smart enough not to fall for it but i just want to give you a heads up anyway have fun building your dream shopify store with gem pages and i'll leave a couple of useful shopify and ad tutorials on the screen here to help you along your journey as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video